doing this watercolor behind was a bitch and Before I start this video, I just want to say thank you to everyone who subscribed to my channel. I recently just hit my year, I guess, end of the year milestone, which was um, reaching 1,000 followers before 2022. And I thought that goal wouldn't be achieved because I only had like 50, like, 50 subscribers in my channel just a month ago and I only had like 30 subscribers over the summer too so I thought that wouldn't happen and it's really exciting to see my um, viewers grow I didn't really intend this channel to have like so many people like looking at it but it does feel rewarding because I I kind of, you know, put a lot of time and effort in editing my videos and I love editing and I just kind of wish some people would enjoy watching my videos as well as much as I make them and it's really, it feels nice, especially when I see comments. It really warms my heart and it keeps me going, you know. So thank you to everyone who subscribed subscribed I am now over 1,000 followers which was something I couldn't even think of and it's quite exciting and yeah I think I worth the use and a bit too much but I always want to say more things whenever I turn on the camera cheers I just love y'all see you and I hope you enjoy the video. Bye!
back from downtown I had to go there twice today I went in the morning at like 7 a.m. not quite sure I woke up yeah 7 30 7 30 yeah 7 30 ish and um, I had to go to a Korean embassy consulate general consulate to do some paperwork and I did that today it took so long. Right now it's like 3 o'clock. I went to the consulate and I went to Five Guys and I picked up some food and I just ate it and came back. So I have some work to do. Um, today I have to work on just my everyday work that I normally do on Tuesdays. And number two, I have to finish all of my paintings and prints and pack them up for the art sale tomorrow. I'm going to drop them off at campus and hopefully I will be able to finish that before like 12ish. So yeah, I'm going to go tomorrow morning and I'm going to meet up with a friend, have lunch and just yeah, talk and I'll probably come back before 2 or 3. So, yeah. But, other than that, I don't have anything else to do. But, I'm thinking of heading outside to the patio because the weather is so nice that I kind of want to just work outside. Not the prints. I don't want to do that outside because wind, yes. We don't want that and I just might take I'm gonna take my laptop and just work out I kind of considered working next to my cat but I honestly don't think that's a good idea because she doesn't really like me <laughs> I don't know she loves me but like she doesn't like it when I'm like fidgeting around so I'm going to let her sleep in peace while I do my work outside and enjoy the sun because I know it's going to rain tomorrow again in Vancouver, so I'm going to go now. <laughs>
Okay, hey, update. Um, I am packing this thing, and this is by far my favorite piece ever from last year. And I still think it is one of my favorite pieces and will be my favorite piece forever. I don't know. This thing has a special place in my heart. And doing this watercolor behind was a bitch and sending her away is kind of heartbreaking but she doesn't have a place in my home so she has to go she she can either rot in my cupboard or you know make someone happy so i'm gonna make someone happy and be a little bit sulky tonight and yeah i'm giving her a last kiss goodbye I'm not going to kiss her, obviously. COVID. <laughs> but yeah. Um, she's beautiful. So if anyone that took her is watching this video, I hope you take good care of her. She's, she's my baby. <laughs> yes, that's all. And I'm going to do more packing now. <laughs> to finish the painting but while I was taking a break I realized that I had a bad headache and shivers so I don't I don't have the headaches anymore after I took a break but I still have the shivers so I'm worried I might get, I might have caught the flu so I haven't gotten the flu shot this year I never have. All my other family members did. I didn't have the time to go because of school. I fucking hate school. Um, other than that, other than that, what am I saying? I think this week I learned that I shouldn't try too hard, especially with my artistic creative um, pieces that I make um, I'm sort of the person that says go big or go home and this sort of behavior is not particularly healthy for me because I can't do go big or go home on every single assignment and commission I get and 
I think I do need to lower my expectations a bit and I should just let my ego go sometimes to just simply let the hand do the work and yeah I also learned that um, having a good rest is not procrastination I had really bad headaches for three nights straight and this never happened to me and I think it was it was the fatigue and the stress and it was gone after a good rest so if any of you are not taking any good rest please do don't make the mistake that I did and don't overwork yourself you know take take some rest have good food take care of yourself Bonjour. This is a commission painting. I have four more to go. Hello. Um, it's been a while since I sat down, and it's because a lot has happened um, this week. Not anymore because it's Monday today. Um, well, for this vlog, I can correct. Um, yeah, I actually basically did the student art sale on Friday and I worked on a shift as a floor sales person. I just helped out people take down um, paintings, put things back to place, things like that. And I actually, I think I sold all of my prints. I realized that all of my prints were gone, which is great news. And this year, I just wanted to try things out. Not because I want to have like, I don't know, a great amount of money. I'm just trying it out because I was curious of how to how the whole art sale works actually so I actually think I should have priced my things a little bit more up it was very cheap considering the effort that I put into but I'm not regretting it I think I'm pretty happy with what I did and it's a learning curve and yeah I'm gonna do that later on and what else oh yeah and I moved my desk I moved I finally moved my desk and I changed the setup and this will be the final setup and I brought my chair too I love this chair I forgot how much I love this chair chair and what else did I do I made mood cakes in the on Saturday. I didn't film it. I did it with friends. And yeah. I didn't film like a big slot of my weekend because I was so busy. And I was kind of enjoying the moment. And I'm sorry if you guys wanted to see but sometimes I need to take breaks too. Other than that, I worked on some textiles and all that, and yeah, I think this week was sort of a chaotic vlog, but I hope you liked it, and 
see you guys next week